Hi, today we're going to look at how we would decode a mill standard 1553 signal using a 5 or 6 series mixed signal oscilloscope. So let's decode the signal first. Let's hit this button, run stop, and uh, capture the signal. Um, triggering and decoding the bus is very, very simple. We, add, we simply press this function here called add new bus, and we then define the bus as a 1553 bus. We set our trigger levels. 1 volt and uh, minus 1 volt, enter, and now you can see that we're triggering on 1553, but I think we'd like to zoom in a little on the signal too, so why don't we hit this, uh, diagonally drag over uh, some packets of interest, and now you can see that we're, we're zoomed in onto the signal, and you can see within this signal here there is a, a data field of uh, 5 hex and a data field of, of 6 hex. But we can also look at this in a tabular format as well. So if I hit results table, um, bus decode, add, you can see now that we can see these in, in tabular form. So we have a data field of 5, 6, and further down a data field of 8 and 9. And also that we can see the remote terminal address of each packet. Some are 17, some are 18 in this example. Let me close this tabular window and then um, hit trigger. And now trigger on data. And I really want to trigger on 005. Enter. And then let me hit run stop. So we're acquiring the data. And now you can see that we are actually triggering the measurement on the data field of, of five, 5 hex. And you can see it down here in the packet. And you can see the, uh, the, the analog signal in the middle screen and the overall packets in the uh, zoomed out window at the top. So I'm triggered on a uh, hex value of 5. But that just basically shows me where one of the values is. So if I use search, I should be able to find more. Um, I just copy the trigger to the search, and now the instrument is searching for the hex value of 5. And if you look at the top there, it's detected the one that we're triggering on, but there's also a, a 5 in the, in the packet adjacent uh, to the one that we're triggering on as well. So that's a, a useful feature to find um, how many times an event occurs uh, within the serial data flow. As you can see, uh, performing mill standard 1553 measurements on the 5 and 6 series MSO is pretty easy and intuitive with the new graphical user interface. Um, today we learned how to acquire the signal, we learned how to trigger on the signal, and we also learned how to find occurrences of bit patterns within a, a long sequence of data. Thank you for watching.